I worked strictly through sponsors like uh, uh, Jason and uh, Glenn uh, all over the United States and Canada. And uh, one of my places I've been to in the last few years is the Los Angeles area, uh, high rent district, the Thousand, Eight, Thousand Oaks area. Uh, by the way, that's another lie. There's only 997 of them. <laughs> I'm a forester, I counted them. <laughs> yeah. But the uh, sponsor there is Arkady Milgram, Russian Jew. He's been here since 1989. Came here with $100 in his pocket. That's all he could bring out of Russia. Uh, he's done extremely well. Only discovered the life insurance business about eight years ago. He had 25 Russians there, 20 of us USA types. Halfway through the seminar, Curtis, I'm telling the people what a peaceful, stress-free way of life it is when you hit the backs out of your life. And a bolt of lightning hit my feeble brain about that time. I said, man, look what an opportunity. I'm talking to myself. What an opportunity you have here. Uh, here's a lady from Russia. She's a doctor. She's a neurologist. I'm going to pick her brain right in front of everybody. I have no earthly idea what she's going to say. Doctor, what part does stress play in medical maladies? Her response, it all starts there. Do you hear that? It all starts there. Do you know that every one of you in this room has cancer? We all have cancer. What prevents it from manifesting itself? Low stress or no stress. Yeah, but what is the, 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 the phenomenon of? Endorphins. No, 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 no. shoot. Yeah, anybody? Antibodies. What? Antibodies and endorphins. Yeah, anyway. Block, uh, There's another cancer. word I'm looking for there, though. Anyway, uh, when you're under stress, what There's happens to those things? No, they go down. You're, you're, you're strict. You, 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 your mechanism is fighting off the uh, uh, cancer. Oh, what is the word? Your immune system? system? Your immune, immune system uh, breaks down. Uh, the immune <laughs> system. What happens to your immune system when you're in distress? We just rest. I rest my case. This is much more uh, than just selling life insurance. This is not about selling life insurance. This concept. It's about becoming about who's the banker in your life and how do you get there? And it just happens that life insurance is the perfect medium of getting it done. That's all. And uh, Emerson said years ago, the end, the re end result, the end product, the goal, the end pre-exists in the means. Look to the means. Now, uh, the problem that I see from the years I've been around the life insurance business uh, is that life insurance agents have a tendency to get fixated on minutia. Yeah. If they measure in the minors. If they measure in the minors. Yeah. They, they don't look at um, concepts uh, all that much. Well, uh, there's a great historian that I uh, spent a lot of time with uh, lately. Uh, his name is uh, Paul Johnson. And uh, the book that uh, I'm referring to here is bound to be here somewhere because I looked at it a while ago. This has got to be important because I'm going to find it. I thought I had them in the line perfectly, but I didn't. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, that is, I did put it in first. Historian Paul Johnson in his book, Modern Times, now that's 1911, I'm, I'm sorry, 1914 uh, 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 to uh, the 1990s. He's covered uh, events that's happening all over the world. On page 313, he says, the Japanese were all brilliant tacticians. None was a strategist. They were all great uh, tacticians, but none was a strategist. 
everyone had striking ideas about beginning a war, but from first to last, from 1931 to the hour of bitter defeat in 1945, no Japanese civil or military worked out realistically how the war was likely to end. Now, that's the thing that I see going on in life insurance business. Uh, the strategies is not there. We're looking at things wrong. We don't look at things long range enough. We don't understand what a fantastic tool life insurance is to provide this thing that uh, everybody talks about retirement. Uh, so um, we're talking about retirement for the time being, but we're going to work on that big time before this day is over. Now, look at the globe, and isn't it obvious that about 80% of the Earth's surface is water, Ashley? Obvious, isn't it? Now, the sun eats that stuff up. That's going to cause some of it to evaporate, evaporate in the atmosphere. Do you know that causes wind currents? <coughs> Moist air is lighter than dry air. Do you know that? Well, where are the clouds, love? The ball gravity? Okay. Now, moist air is lighter than dry air. Warm air is lighter than cold air. Y'all know that, don't you? Well, Bob, if you have warm, moist air, don't you have a compounding effect? Yeah. Well, that's causes the wind currents. The wind currents go around the earth, and uh, it'll, that uh, moisture will precip out and rain, sleet, snow, and hail, and somewhere along the way, some of it's going to flow through you and me, right? And if it doesn't flow through you and me, we're in deep trouble, aren't we? Water is an absolute necessity to our survival. Okay? Everybody agree? Yeah. yeah. We're reading the same stuff, right? <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, that water is in motion. What happens to water uh, if it's not in motion? It stagnates. Hmm? It stagnates. Don't drink that stuff. It'll kill you. That makes it pretty important, doesn't it? Now, when water flows through you and me, Curtis, tell me, where does it ultimately end up? Ultimately. Back in the ocean. Back in the ocean. It's a cycle. Now, somebody uh, says, oh, look, Mark, uh, there's South America. Oh, look, there's the Amazon River flowing into the South Atlantic Ocean. That has nothing to do with the Indian Ocean on the backside of the world. Hogwash. Mark, they're all connected. All bodies of water are connected. Now, I go to uh, Utah a lot. Some smart head I got there a, year, a few years ago says, Oh, it's Salt Lake out there. It's not connected to anything. Well, yes, it is. I proved it. That lunch that day, I let that water grass sit on the table. It had ice in there. It too hard. Now, after a while, moisture appeared on the outside of that glass, didn't it? Now, you weren't there, Jesse, but you know that's true, don't you? <coughs> now, where'd that water come from, love? It didn't flow through the glass, did it? <laughs> it came from the atmosphere. We're living right now in a very thin layer of moisture water. Now what's this got to do with banking? There's only one pool of money out there. That's all. The fact that various and sundry banks, insurance companies, corporations, and individuals, and in various and sundry countries and currency denominations is managing a portion of that pool is incidental. 